they go to the toilet daily, right? Yeah. We also wanted to validate the concept that you can be able to make money from the fish poop that we collect daily. From fish to healthy soils, a new revolution is bubbling beneath the surface of Kenya's vertical lake in Ongatarongai. Here, nothing goes to waste. The same system that grows fish in harvested rainwater is now transforming fish waste into an agent for healthy soils. Welcome to Eco Frontline Africa. Uh, my name is Wendy Cynthia and welcome to Vertical Lake where we do aquaculture and we're exclusively currently farming tilapia here in Ongatarongai. Uh, besides the fish fillets, we have the organic fertilizer that comes from the fish bio waste that's currently performing really well with vegetative crops and fruit trees. Here is some of the experiments we've been doing with our blue harvest fertilizer. So here are lettuce, they're three weeks old. We have the sukuma that are also three weeks old and we harvested last weekend. Scientists have pointed out that composting fish waste can significantly improve plant yields and increase nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium and microelements in leaf tissues. Another study showed that using a biofertilizer made from fish waste boosted leaf length leaf area and shoot weight in stavia plants under stressful conditions. You also increase your production. So we have been for three weeks to harvest. So if you have a lot of easy vegetables, it means you can harvest more frequently than the other ones. We have tried it on mogoka and tea leaves, so in the leaves mingi, so farmers can harvest more. So in increased productivity here. If you can be able to zoom, we have some potato fing uh, seedlings that we planted on Saturday. Potato culture, they're first generation seeds. So in Inyanya, it's three weeks old. We've been trying on Dania, but I think they have overgrown. Zimianza kwa yellow, they are two weeks old. Is uh, in Iminji. We planted them the same time as these nyanyas. They've already flowered in three weeks. They've already flowered. So basically this is a trial plot? Yes, this is a trial plot. We do all our experiments here to document how fast they grow, uh, the effects they have on their crop, and also the dilutions. How does someone use this fertilizer? Okay, depending on the stage of the crop, you can use it to break seed dormancy. So for people doing nursery propagations, they can use it to, bricks, to break seed dormancy. So you soak overnight and then plant. We also have, you can use it as a foliar. Zikikuwa ndogo kama hizi. You just spray it as a foliar. So you can put, depending on the stage of the crop, you can use 50 ml to 100. So we have one liter of blue harvest. It comes with a cup that's used for measuring. This one cup is 50 ml. So for 20 liters of water, you use two of these. So 50 ml times two, which is 100 ml for 20 liters of water. Kama una fanya kazi na fruit trees, unaweza eka tatu kama fruit tree ni kubwa. So naona mtu akikuwa mkubwa na mpea dawa mingi kushinda akiwa mdogo. So how we have been able to design it ndio iweze kuwa absorbed haraka. Like it has a microbes that help even rehabilitate your soil. Because of the fermentation process, it's able to release nutrients much faster. So you can be able to see visible results in three to five days. Indeed, this is innovation with a purpose. Turning waste into wealth and closing the loop between water, food and soil. Until next time, I'm your host, Isaiah Esipiso. Goodbye.